How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to What If We Nuke The Moon by In A Nutshell. Alright, so, uh, Happy New Year's, even though I'm really late, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one video that I did, I basically premiered it my time midnight for the new year's but i never actually said like happy new year's in the video or anything so happy new year's <laughs> so i'm i'm late as i usually am especially reacting to this video it's about a week old already but yeah just i'm always tardy to the party but that's okay because i don't like chasing trends <laughs> i'm just gonna keep adding excuses to this video but on to this video like they in a nutshell has to be running out of things to nuke at this point like there's so many videos about nuking like what if we nuke the whole city what if all the nukes blow up at once like just stuff like that so this one's really really interesting i'm typically interested in to seeing like how the ocean fares with this because that would be really really interesting stuff but i'm sure they're going to go into way greater detail in this video so without any further ado here is what if we nuke the moon what would happen if we were to detonate a very, very powerful nuclear weapon on the moon? Would the explosion knock its orbit towards Earth, causing tidal waves oh my. and misery? It's like a... Could the moon be What's destroyed, that game? Ocarina of Time, I think? the Earth in a rain of meteoric death? I can't wait to find out. Why do you have a button of destruction, monkey? Please stop that. During the Cold War, the moon was a major target for Cold space War. exploration and, you know, military bases. So, the US Air Force commissioned a serious study into the effects of a nuclear detonation on the surface of the moon. Wait, did they Which actually do it? stuff is boring, so let's conduct a very important scientific experiment okay. with an imaginary 100 megaton thermonuclear warhead about twice as powerful as the most powerful bomb ever detonated. Cool. We'll also place a number of curious astronauts around the moon as observers. Let's push the button <laughs> and slow down time. Okay, cool. For the first few milliseconds, nothing much happens outside our weapon. Meanwhile, inside, high explosives send a shockwave to a radioactive metal core, compressing it. It's so gonna go much boom, folks. Reaches criticality and starts a nuclear fission chain reaction. Oh boy! The 100 million degree plasma created in this first stage sets off the second stage with atomic it's nuclei fusing like they do in the core of a star. Very briefly, our weapon contains one of the hottest places in the universe. And Dang. only now, barely 10 milliseconds later, does the rest of the universe find out that anything has happened as God, this is really bright. and a ah. star of <laughs> nuclear death is born. Nuclear so far, death. So good. But everything that happens now is, is very good? different from what we're used to on Earth because of one major difference. There's no atmosphere. There it is. As the fireball shines, it Whoa. releases a flash of X-rays and thermal photons, a wave of silent heat which rushes outwards in all directions. Dang! On Earth, this heat would char and burn everything within a 50-kilometer radius at least. But on okay. the Moon, without an atmosphere and oxygen-rich air, there's no burning at all. God. Also, I there are just no woke up to the brightness. The crunchy topsoil of the Moon is made from silicate rock and metals chewed to dust by eons of meteorite impacts mixed with tiny traces of water. water. When heated by the explosion, X-rays from the fireball vaporize a thin cloud of rock from the lunar surface, while the unlucky dust that's inside the fireball melts into glass. Any astronaut glass moon that would be interesting. 50 kilometers <clears throat> can expect to be fried. Oh no. And now we begin to see what sorry birdie differences between oh, that's very graphic in space and on Earth. On Earth, the atmosphere fights back against the plasma bubble. Its expansion is violently stopped within moments by the pressure of the atmosphere. But this is not good news. As the fireball rams the atmosphere, it produces the most destructive part of a nuclear explosion on Earth, the shock wave. Uh -huh, Compressed air okay. around the explosion rushes out faster than the speed of sound, shattering buildings and roaring so loud it ruptures organs. God. But on the moon there is no shock wave. No atmosphere means nothing to impede the expanding explosion in space. Wait, so on the moon, the fireball just grows in eerie silence as there's no atmosphere to stop it or to give it a voice. I was about to say, does it just keep growing? This would be an amazing thing to watch from a safe distance. Unfortunately, there's hardly any safe viewing distance for a nuclear explosion on the moon. Oh my. 
Without an atmosphere weakening the deadly ionizing radiation that can scramble 30. DNA, anyone close enough to get a good look will oh, be no. exposed to fatal amounts of radiation. But of course, where's Bruce that's Banner not when all. you need him? While all of this happens, the explosion hammers against the moon, transferring about a tenth of the explosion energy into seismic waves, powering an intense moonquake. Moonquake. The moon is much smaller than the Earth, and our astronauts will feel an inescapable violent shaking no matter where they're standing. Comparable to an earthquake of seven. There really be astronauts. Scale, this shaking could seriously damage really or hope level not. infrastructure we might have built anywhere on the moon. Those who hit on the far side of the moon would have no idea it was an explosion. The quaking would feel like an asteroid the size of the Great Pyramid had struck. Dang, and that's a not pretty impressive yet. meteor. Where our bomb explodes, the ground splatters like Aye. water when a rock strikes a pond. As the explosion so just rushes against the surface, it may excavate as much as 100 million cubic meters of dust and rock, forming a crater a kilometer across, while bedrock is pulverized to rubble. Damn. Debris is shot into the sky in every direction. Again, without an atmosphere, there's no so a lot of it going to hit Earth. Any of it down. Much of the debris scattered never returns to the moon, <coughs> flying off Oops. faster than escape velocity. A flurry of micrometeorites have been cast off to explore the solar system, many of which will rain down on the Earth, though few will be larger than pebbles. Okay. That still hurt, though. It's north or space station through your way, though, skull. We'll have a really bad time. Micrometeorites are launched at many speeds and angles, allowing them to spread all over the surface of the moon. Like bullets, they'll punch through our curious astronauts, no matter where they stand. I don't want to see that. Finally, okay, thank you. <laughs> oh. On Earth, the fireball rises like a hot air balloon, forming a sort of stalk. As it reaches up, cooler like air is drawn in cloud? around it, rounding the top into a mushroom I don't know why I didn't cloud. Say yeah. But on the moon, <laughs> no atmosphere, no mushroom. So it the just keeps the going. Begins, the cooler it becomes, and the less energy it has to make interesting or terrifying things happen. Within seconds of pulling the trigger, the bubble reddens and fades from view. Okay. It would be visible from the Earth like a star Ooh. flickering to life, only to fade out right away. A spark, no. and then nothing. Did I miss it? As the cloud of tiny debris reaches far above the surface with the of the organ moon, music, it's man. illuminated by the sun for a few minutes, giving it an eerie beauty for anyone left to observe the spectacle. This one's so what sad for the, the birds. Orbit? It's basically unchanged. Trying to move the moon with a nuke is like trying to move a truck by blowing on it. <laughs> Nuclear explosions may be big, but space is bigger. Yeah. Our mighty oh, explosion so just leaves another crater. One among millions. Still, anyone on the moon will continue to not enjoy themselves. Yeah, the I can see that. that. ends up raining back to the moon is radioactive, and without any natural processes to wash it away or bury it, the surface of the moon will remain contaminated. Although, fortunately, the worst of the radiation will have decayed to a level comparable to natural levels from cosmic rays in about a year. In okay. In conclusion, we can say with confidence <clears throat> that while the moon itself does not care about being nuked, they just want to watch the moon burn. Notice, using the moon as a nuclear test ground kind of ruins it for everyone trying to spend some time there or to build something useful. So maybe I think we every just bird in this video is either dead or sad. Yeah, we should this was our not do that. Of the year 12,020, and uh, oh dear, what an interesting and weird year it's been in all <laughs> yeah. the worst ways. But it's finally over. Stuck on the we toilet to paper. Ended by saying thank you. We get to do this channel and work on many exciting things because of you, burbs. This year, our German channel reached a million subscribers. We launched a nice. one and released nice. our first app. Ooh. If everything goes well, we can finally start our largest new project to date next year, but we know better than to promise too much. All of this works because you support us directly. Like Thank Spartans? you so much. We genuinely appreciate it. Great if mythology? you want to help us out too Maybe? and get something cool in return, to the tune of nuking the moon, we've made a new minimalistic Wee infographic poster about the moon and how incredibly Boop. far away it is. <laughs> also, there's a oh. baby duck, our baby cutest duck. plushie yet, oh a my new God. duck and friends enamel mug, a yeah, new right. ocean explorer notebook, and so duck. much more. I didn't know there were ducks. With love and care. Let us know what you like. I did not know that was a duck this entire okay, time. I thought it was like a crow. That's how I pictured it. This year. Thank you again for watching and caring. No and problem, sharing. Bob. We hope that you I'm gonna call you Bob. peacefully into the year 2021. Oh. Let's all hope it will be a really boring year. I hope so too. I really hope so too. <laughs> Alright. I love the baby duck. That's so cute. 
All right. So, yeah, that was really, really interesting. Like, I thought it would make a much more bigger, huge impact than that. It's just basically like, like he said, it was, if you see it, it's just a really cool looking star. And then it just goes away in a couple of seconds, which is very interesting. I thought it was going to like do way worse instead of just leave another crater. That's kind of video is kind of un un underwhelming <laughs> turned into porky pig there dab -a -dab -a -dab -a. but anyway it's just really interesting stuff this whole channel this whole video everything is just i really really enjoy it and i feel kind of bad that i didn't actually get to watch it on time because usually the stuff at the end goes with the video or what's going on in the real world and i tend to always be late to those so Sorry, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I just, I love In A Nutshell so much. They're one of my first uh, channels that I actually reacted to. And just to keep going back to them every once in a while, I love it so much. Just to get blasted with knowledge like this. But yeah, kind of underwhelming. I thought a nuke would be a whole lot more damaging to the moon than I thought. I thought it was going to impact the ocean. I thought it was going to like, well, I mean, technically meteors cascade to Earth, but no bigger than a pebble, even though that will be kind of deadly to people but yeah i don't know it's underwhelming i don't know i love the video the video was amazing but just the after effect of the nuke in the video is what i'm talking about is underwhelming so very very enjoyable video kind of underwhelming after effect to the nuke in the moon so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode Later day.